Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel. William Samuel Ruto is going to battle a secret sins taking over as the president of the Republic of Kenya from Uhuru Mage Kenyatta. When I was reading a tweet from Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, senior counsel, I realized something terrible that William Ruto is battling with and also is going to battle with as he is going to continue be, to be the president uh, about five years. This is the tweet of Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi. During Moi's tenure, Kenya was an improvised colony of IMF and World Bank. Kibaki led war of independence and freed Kenya. Uhuru Kenyatta mortgaged Kenya back to IMF and World Bank by over indulging in vanity projects, for example SGR and others. Ruto has to repay for the sins of Uhuru and this will be so painful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I was reading this, Ahmed Abdullahi has come out to forget that in the regime of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, in the first term, when Uhuru Kenyatta was adopting IMF and World Bank, William Ruto was there. And of course, he was the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya by then. So when William Ruto is going to battle the slavery of IMF and the World Bank, it is something that started in the regime that he was in 2013. Because I remember the fallout came in after 2017 17 general election, where in the 2018, Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta went for a handshake. That is the period where there was a fallout. William Ruto get out and started preparing his presidency. Something that is going to give us a lot of headache is that IMF, and World Bank, these are institutions that when you are working with them or depending on them, a country might find itself on its knees. Why? Because they always control any kind of activities in a country. Something that Kenyans don't believe is that we are slavery to IMF and World Bank and other multilateral institutions and donors. I've had William Ruto so eloquent towards ensuring that he is going to reduce borrowing. But at the same time he's going to reduce borrowing, William Ruto is going to find his term to be hard. Even if he will be re-elected 2027, he's still going to pay loans that the government he belongs initially went and adopted the IMF and World Bank as institutions that supported the operation of the government of Jubilee Party. So as William Ruto is to repay for the sins of Uhuru Kenyatta, it is something that also William Ruto understands very well. He was inside there. So we are in captivity of IMF and World Bank, where when you look at the reality, the government of Mwaikibaki and some part of his term, the coalition government, where it was between Kibaki and Raila Odinga, at least brought something change. They brought change into our country where we were de just depending on what we have. 
But when you look at the regime of Uhuru Megei Kenyatta, and the same to this regime of William Ruto, it's just that it's just that we are being lied to. Because when you look at the statement of William Ruto, look at the statement of his other leaders allied to him, they are saying totally different things at the same time. So what is this guarantee that we believe that at the same time William Ruto does not want to borrow, at the same time he is impacting Kenya to depend on what they have. I'm disagreeing with William Samuel Ruto when it comes to the change that he needs. You cannot have a change, yet the expenditure is so high against what we have. Look at a budget of 3.6 trillion. The expectation and the collection of revenue is 2.96 trillion. A deficit of 780 billion Kenyan shillings. That uh, is almost 718 there. This is just almost uh, 1 trillion. This a deficit must they must borrow so that they close the gap. So let William Ruto come and tell us the truth because today also I've had him in Kakamega and yesterday I had him in Gidunguri constituency. The other time he was in Meru, he's telling us that he will not borrow. This man is telling us that he's not going to borrow. Yet his budget is having a deficit of 718 billion Kenyan shillings. And this must be used. You want to tell me they will not borrow because this target of 2.96 billion trillion, trillion Kenyan shillings, this is the, the expectation collection of revenue. Then on this side, the expenditure is so high. So as at the same time, William Ruto tell us that he is not looking forward to borrow. He must tell us how he's going to pay the debts, how he's going to cope up managing and stabilizing the economy and also fulfilling his promises. Because as the revenue that is going to be collected is 2.96 trillion. Remember, there are loans that must be paid through that collection. At the same time, we have already having we are already having deficit of 718 billion, almost 1 trillion. Then how will you pay debts? How will you fulfill your promises? How will you continue stabilizing the economy? It is a very dangerous situation that William Ruto is in. If this if these loans were not there, at least it could have been so possible for William Ruto to make it. I know some party will make it but not at all because things are not reliable as we speak now because initially according to the reports of the treasury we are being told that when you look at the revenue that is being deducted to pay debts is almost 50 percent let us speak the truth William Ruto, William Ruto's government expectation is to collect 2.96 billion, not billion, trillion Kenya shillings. Then this 2.96 trillion, we were told by the treasury initially that the collected revenue, a half of it is being used to service, service the loans. This is just almost a half of 2.9 trillion Kenya shillings. We are going to remain with 1.9 something. 1.9 something if I'm not wrong. 1.95 trillion Kenya shillings. That is what we are going to be, remain with. If we are going to remain with 1.9 trillion Kenya shillings, then the expenditure is 3.6 trillion. How will you manage to control the economy? With that, it will be so difficult. So these songs that you're hearing from the mouth of William Ruto is just to entice you, sweet talk you, but the reality is William Ruto is going to pay it dearly.
and it's going to be so painful for William Ruto to cope up with this kind of scenario whereas difficulties is is still there William Ruto Nye on the other side is telling us that things are, are good so ladies and gentlemen what are thoughts? because I don't think if truly they're telling us that they're going to change the country but at the same time we are having this slavery of IMF and World Bank what happens? What happens? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Bye-bye.